I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And we're always happy when the weekends come around and we can all get together. And I can just uh, see you in my mind all over the world, gathered around your uh, television or your short wave or whatever it is, and we're worshiping the same wonderful God. And then I can see some that don't know Jesus, and you've never met Jesus. Maybe you've never heard about him. And we're going to tell you about him because he loves you, and he wants you to be a part of his kingdom. Oh, this is a great service. Well, we're reading from John chapter 16 today, and you can look that up. And then also in our prayer, we always pray for the persecuted church. And we're going to pray for the persecuted church in Turkey today. And uh, so we can uh, always stand by and think of those dear people. Uh, this passage of scripture, we start with the uh, 16th chapter in the 7th verse. And Jesus is telling his disciples he's going back to heaven. And they're very upset. They don't know what they're going to do without Jesus. So we read in verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin, because they believe not on me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father and ye see me no more of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I that he shall take care of mine and shall show it unto you. And so let's look to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful passage of Scripture and thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. You call him the comforter because he comes into our very being, into our heart. Our body becomes a temple of the Holy Spirit. And the moment we accept you as our Savior, that Holy Spirit comes. And he never leaves us and he's always there to guide us and to comfort us and to strengthen us. And so we thank you for the Holy Spirit. And we thank you that the work that he does in our hearts and the way he comforts and helps us in life. And Lord, while we talk about that, we think about our brothers and sisters in Turkey, the persecuted church. Lord, some of them are, are having hard, terrible times. Many of them are giving their life. They're laying down their life. I, dear God, I hope I would be that strong. But they are so glorious and they are so true to you. And they just help us. They just bring bless our hearts when we think of how that they stand up for you and they never they don't back down and so they've a great blessing to us and lord we want to be a blessing to them that they may know that we pray for them constantly continually that they fail not and that they'll be given strength for just that particular time they might be in lord now we pray that you'll bless this service we pray that you'll honor jesus may no be no one be seen but Jesus. And in our particular case today, the wonderful work of the Holy Spirit. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> 